And time now to take a look at what's been happening in the world of sports. For that, I'm joined here in the studio by our sports editor, Paul Need. Welcome, Paul. Hello there. So let's start with golf today. South Korean star and world number three, Koo Jin Young, has won another LPGA title. What can you tell us more? Well, it ended in a playoff for what was Koo Jin Young's 15th career LPGA title in New Jersey at the Upper Montclair Country Club. Ko Jin Young won the Founders Cup. She defeated Korean Australian Minji Lee in the playoff after the two had finished at 13 under par, 275. Ko was actually four points behind Lee heading into the final round, but then hit a birdie on the 18th to set up the playoff. She made par after Lee three putted for a bogey to earn 450,000 US dollars in prize money. It was Ko's second victory of the 2023 season and 15th LPGA win overall. She's also won the Founders Cup twice before and is now the first person to win the competition three times. And she's also closer to the LPGA Hall of Fame, having picked up 20 Hall of Fame points, seven away from being inducted. Impressive. And in the PGA, Kim Siu did well to over the weekend. Yes, he did. He finished tied for second at the PGA AT&T Byron Nelson. At TPC Craig Ranch in McKinney, Texas on Sunday local time, Kim Shiyu finished just one stroke behind eventual winner Jason Day at 22 under 262. Kim was aiming to win his second tournament of the season and fifth PGA career title and continue the streak of wins by South Koreans. Lee Kang Un won it back to back in 2020 and 2021 and Kang Song Hoon won in 2019. The 2020 edition was cancelled due to COVID-19. Meanwhile, in KPGA, Im Sung Jae on Sunday won the Uri Financial Group Championship. He finished 10 under par 278 in what was his first KPGA event since October 2019. Im, of course, is usually seen on the PGA Tour. Moving on to football now. Um, Tottenham's hopes for qualifying for the Champions League is now over. I'm afraid so, yes. The Tottenham lost 2-1 uh, away to Aston Villa on Saturday. They now sit seventh in the table, nine points behind the Champions League places with two games left to play. There is the Europa League still to play for, though, and fifth or sixth place would seal it. But Tottenham are five points behind Liverpool, who sit fifth and one behind Brighton in sixth place, but have played two games more than Brighton. This leaves the Europa Conference League as the most likely outcome for Tottenham, the third tier competition which Spurs played in this season. But they face competition from Aston Villa. And over in Spain, Barcelona have won La Liga. Yes, they have their first title in Spain for four years. And it's also the first for manager Xavi Hernandez, who won eight with the club as a player. The title was sealed on Sunday night local time following a 4-2 win away to Espanyol. The Catalan club are 14 points clear now of Real Madrid in second place with four games still to play. It's also Barca's first title without Lionel Messi, the first since 1999. Messi left in 2021, but has been linked with a return as his contract with French side Paris Saint-Germain is due to expire in June. And speaking of strong leads, Ulsan Hyundai have won with in the K-League. Tell yes, us more. Yes, they do. They sit 11 points clear at the top of K-League 1 now. Uh, a 3-2 home win over second place FC Seoul on Sunday widened the gap at the top to double figures for the reigning champions. George International Valerie Kazaishvili, also known as Vako in K-League, scored two goals for Ulsan. This continued his incredible record against FC Seoul, putting him on seven goals and two assists in eight appearances against the Capital Club. Elsewhere in K-League, JG United put five past Suwon FC in a 5-0 win to jump up to third place. All right, Paul, thank you for that and see you next week. Thank you. See you.